Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Jean Yu and I talk about all things intentional and low impact living and I'm so happy to have you here today. Today's episode is on sustainable beauty habits. I am going to be doing a sustainable habit series. This is part one. I think there's gonna be four of them, so stay tuned. My goal is to help people live a more sustainable lifestyle by providing easy tips and tricks. So today I'm gonna to share with you 10 beauty tips that have helped me. So the first step is all about the packaging. I try to find things that come in glass or aluminum and are refillable. So for example, you have this foundation where this can pop out easily and be replaced and this is aluminum. And then you have this sunscreen, for example, I do have a zero waste store that's near me in Austin. There's only one. And uh, you can actually go and refill the sunscreen and just keep the container, which I really like. Definitely leaves a little bit of a white cast. Like if you're someone who's darker than me, it probably will show up unless you have makeup on. I've kind of just accepted a little bit of the, you know, the white cast but it's not too crazy but you can definitely tell a little bit but usually i'm wearing makeup when i'm out and about it doesn't really matter that much for me but sunscreens can be definitely a little bit difficult when you are a person of color and also in terms of packaging this is really creative this is a uh, retinol serum that comes in a little pod and all you do is twist it open it and pour out the um, serum and you can put it on your face. I believe the pods are compostable. I'll put it on the screen, but I love how you get it in a paper container and there are 60 retinol um, little, little, uh, I don't know what to call them, retinol like pods. But yeah, I love that it's like super cute and minimal. I feel like this would probably last you, what, two months? Cause you probably wanna do retinol only in the evening. I'm all about trying to find ways to reduce the amount of packaging that I'm using in my beauty products. I don't know about you, but sometimes I get shampoo bars that definitely don't work for me. So what I do is I actually use them to clean my makeup brushes and you can also use them like shave your legs or something and use it as like a shaving soap. I have like naturally curly hair. It just, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to find shampoo bars that work. I would just find a way to use it besides just throwing it out. So usually you can just wash your makeup brushes, find other ways to use the soap versus just throwing it out. Again, if there's a product that maybe doesn't work for what it was intended for, maybe there's another way to use it so sometimes I'll also get like skin serums for my face that just isn't it but I can just use it on my body so just find ways to kind of use it before you throw it out next I would say use reusable makeup wipes so I was recently gifted these from Coco Kind now honestly this size is not practical like as someone that does wear makeup often like this is not this is not gonna do it maybe for like eye makeup but they might also have bigger cotton rounds but honestly what's been working for me is just having a whole bunch of washcloths and using those because i feel like especially for me i like to double cleanse like i'm always trying to make sure my face is clean before i go to bed and a lot of times these are just like not enough but this could be good if you want to like spray toner on it after you cleansed your face like this could definitely work but be prepared to use a lot of them <laughs> if you wear a lot of makeup or you know some Sometimes I get a lot of like dirt in my skin, so it's just a lot easier to use a washcloth and just an easy hack too if you don't want to spend a ton of money on a ton of different washcloths, just get a towel that you're no longer are using and just cut it up into pieces and honestly you'll probably get like, I don't know, like 20 small little squares out of a towel and that's going to save you a ton of money versus buying the individual uh, makeup wipes or towels. My next tip is to use up all you have. So you may be wondering what this is right here, but this is actually a mini spatula. And this is meant for going into those beauty products and scooping everything out. A lot of times when we're throwing out beauty products, we're not using the entire thing, even for toothpaste. Like I would highly recommend cutting it in half and scooping it out. And there's so much toothpaste in there that can actually last you a good like week or two. So make sure you're using the last of your products. There are different tools that you can use to just go in and scoop it out. This could be good for foundation or a face cream, but just make sure you're using all of the products so you're definitely getting your money's worth and you're not wasting. The next beauty tip is to use shampoo bars, conditioner bars, if that works for you. There also are alternatives such as the seed phytonutrients, um, shampoo, conditioner. I've uh, actually liked this. This is the moist conditioner, moist, moist. 
moisture, can't read, moisture <laughs> comes in an aluminum container. And I actually do like this brand. I've like used other products by them before, but if you are someone who's like, I cannot do shampoo bars, conditioner bars, this is definitely a great option. I know conditioner bars for me are kind of a hit or miss. So a lot of times I'll just use a liquid conditioner and then I'll use a shampoo bar. But again, like you gotta do what works for you. Don't be, you know, too hard on yourself. And there's definitely different options out there for different types of hair textures. Also when it comes to wasting, if you're someone like me that uses bars of soap, which I love, a lot of times they will get into these little tiny pieces and you're like, what do I do with them? So there's actually things called soap saver pouches. So you could actually put tiny pieces of soap in it and you can just like rub it on your skin actually using all the soap i know there's some people too who will melt down the soap in the microwave and like form it into a new bar or you can actually melt it and put it in a container and use that to clean your makeup brushes as well this is just a great way to make sure you're using all of your bar soap and you're not throwing out those tiny pieces because we don't want to waste anything <laughs> The next is don't be afraid to DIY a couple things. So I've been doing this DIY hairspray. I have my hair in braids right now, so I don't really put too much on my hair. So every morning I just spray my scalp with this water and rosemary oil spray. And I just love, it is a plastic bottle, but it's gonna last me forever and I use it all the time. But I love how you can just like spray and I can make sure my scalp is nice and moisturized. And it's just a great way, you know, cut back on packaging. The rosemary oil that I use came in glass. You just refill it with water and it's just like an easy, an easy way to, you know, make your own product. When it comes to skincare products, I'm not a fan of making your own skincare products, but when it comes to just like maybe basic things and basic sprays, I think this is a great option. The next tip is to avoid products that have petroleum in it. So petroleum actually comes from fossil fuels, which we can go into a long list of reasons why we should avoid <laughs> things that come from fossil fuels. Ingredients on your products. So like for example, Vaseline and uh, bio oil, bio oil, I think it's pronounced, uh, contains mineral oil and actually I'm doing it. I either, we're already gonna post it or I did a TikTok on it. Uh, if you're not following me on TikTok, make sure you're following me. But uh, a lot of times, a lot of cosmetics and uh, body care products contain mineral oil, perfumes, and all these parabens that are harmful to the planet as well as your body. So make sure to do your research and also look at the ingredients before you start putting things onto your body. My next tip is to use multi-use products. I know I have eyeshadow that, for example, is this pretty gold that I could use as like a nice little highlighter or I could use it as an eyeshadow. So I'm not buying two products, I'm just buying one, and which also saves you money as well. So I'm all about trying to find ways to use one product in more than one way because it's gonna save you money, it's gonna cut down on a ton of waste, and it just makes you know your life a lot easier. It's less stuff in your bathroom, and it's definitely the way to go. And if there's one tip that you should definitely follow, it's to use what you have. So before you go out and buy all the fancy eco stuff, use what you already have in your home. If it's something that's maybe toxic and you don't wanna use it, you know, you can throw it out. But I highly recommend just using what you have at home before you start buying new things because the most sustainable thing you can do is use what you already have, whether that's makeup, whether that's clothes, no matter what it is, it's the most sustainable thing to do. I hope you found this video helpful. Comment below any of your sustainable beauty tips. I really wanna know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.